What's up you guys, it's Susan White here with Clever News and is it just us or did yesterday take you back to 2019? Tati Westbrook uploaded another lengthy tell-all YouTube video and other YouTube figures like Shane's fiance Rylan Adams and good friend Trisha Paytas started to go off on Twitter. It literally felt like Dramageddon all over again. But nope, it's 2020 and this is just another part of the never-ending drama saga in the beauty community. Alright, so in case you missed it, on Tuesday, Tati Westbrook uploaded her video called Breaking My Silence, where she claimed that Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson manipulated her into posting her by sister video about James Charles a little over a year ago. Tati apologized to James for believing what she refers to as Shane and Jeffrey's lies about him and said uploading that video is one of her biggest regrets. James, I am so sorry that I allowed myself to be poisoned and weaponized against you. I'm sorry that I bought into any of their lies. Believing those lies and allowing myself to be gaslit into making that video is one of the biggest regrets of my life. We all know now that the Bi Sister video ignited the long-standing feud in the beauty YouTube community and severely impacted both Tati and James's mental health. James has been open with fans about how much he struggled with anxiety and depression after Tati's video was posted, and Tati particularly went in on Shane about this in her new video. Tati claims that the night before she uploaded her Bi Sister video, she texted Shane sharing her concerns about James's mental health if she were to share the video. I texted Shane sharing my concerns for James Charles, that he was out of the country on the high floor of a hotel and I was afraid for him hurting himself. Shane texted me back and said that I should not be nervous about the 50th floor, that James Charles was a narcissist and that he would never do that. Tati also claims that her concerns about James were never that serious until she met Shane and spent more time with Jeffrey, and after they told her he was, quote, hurting minors. Tati alleges they pushed her to upload the by sister video, and she claims that Shane even offered to help her put the video together. Shane Dawson didn't just know about my by sister video. He offered to help edit it. He even offered to design the thumbnail and help title it. Then once she uploaded the video, Tati said that no victims of James came forward like Shane and Jeffrey said they would, and she stopped hearing from both Shane and Jeffrey after Jeffrey uploaded his own apology video for his involvement in the scandal. Tati said, quote, Shane never reached out to check on me, and he never even shared the trailer with me for his docuseries. And she said that it wasn't until their YouTube series ended and when she met up with James that she actually realized what really went down, and that she had been used. And shortly after Tati uploaded her video yesterday, Shane went on both Twitter and Instagram Live to say Tati was lying about him. He is a I can't, I can't. I don't want to say mean things about people. This is insane. This is insane. And Shane also accused Tati of being manipulative and fake crying as she spoke about her own experience with abuse. You're fake, you're fake crying. You are fake crying. You are fake crying. That is not real. Oh my God. Obviously, there's a lot more to unpack here. And if you want the full recap of Tati's video and Shane's response, we linked another clever video right up top. But right now, let's talk about Shane's fiance, Rylan Adams response to all of this. Rylan was briefly seen and heard in Shane's Instagram Live. Oh, oh my gosh. Victim. That is not- I made no mention of that in my video. Oh my God. Get off. And earlier in the live, Ryland also called out Tati in the background, questioning Tati's motivation in making a video in light of what she was saying. It was enough to scare me. Well, then why would you make a video on the matter claiming these allegations? Because she is a I can't, I can't. I don't want to say mean things about people. The live ended after a brief time. However, Ryland decided he would take to Twitter to share how he really feels about the whole situation and what Tati was alleging. In a series of tweets, Ryland voiced his frustrations about Tati. He started off by saying, quote, Tati Westbrook, a masterclass in manipulation. The only way to save her reputation was to side with the person she tried to ruin. Make no mistake, this 40-year-old woman chose to post a video on her own accord. She riled up Shane before doing so to have one of the biggest creators backing her in the chance this all backfired. Shane very well would have posted a video exposing James had he felt so inclined. No receipts because she didn't want to expose the countless times she told Shane that she was a big girl doing this only for herself. Ryland went on and tweeted saying quote, hope you enjoy those sold out vitamins that made you millions in minutes from Shane's support you two-faced liar. And not today mother 
Do not try me right now. He also retweeted YouTuber Kalel's tweet which said, Waiting to address your mistakes until you have someone new to shift the blame on, who just so happens to be currently kicked and down? How convenient. Kalel is likely referring to the fact that Shane was already facing criticism from both fans and other celebrities after his recent apology for his past offensive videos, including the use of the N-word and blackface, joking about pedophilia as well as inappropriate content and statements concerning minors. Since Shane's old videos have resurfaced, Ryland hasn't spoken out about Shane's controversial past, but he made his stance clear on where he stands in this Tati situation. Fans on Twitter were largely critical of both Shane and Ryland, with many telling Ryland to grow up or speak about the other issues regarding Shane, while others just voiced their overall frustration with the situation, saying, quote, I don't know who to support on YouTube anymore. However, there were some fans coming to Ryland and Shane's defense with tweets like, if this was really what happened, why didn't she say it sooner? She made huge accusations to James and now making huge accusations for Shane and Jeffrey as well. But Ryland wasn't the only one to call Tati out. Trisha Paytas went on a Twitter rant of her own saying, quote, I can't stop imagining Tati calling and paying lawyers to approve her statement that Shane and Jeffrey are jealous of James Charles. Morphe coming out with beauty vitamins is the plot twist to make 2020 the worst year ever. That lawyer just be like, yeah, approved, pay me 25k, b Trisha also went on to say, quote, Imagine if Tati put that same amount of time, money, and energy into arresting the cops who killed Breonna Taylor, or even just, you know, mentioning BLM, like once. You come out of hiding for vitamin drama, but not people being killed unjustly in our country. Let's pray for them, girl. And Trisha also called Tati out for running ads on her recent video, tweeting, quote, How many mid-roll ads did you get watching Tati's vid? I counted five. Monetize it, girl, but make it less obvious. It's all for that money. However, on that point, Tati did did include a note in the description of her video that said, All of the AdSense proceeds from this video are being donated to spiritawakening.org. Trisha also uploaded her own 30 minute reaction video to her YouTube channel called Tati Dumb as Hell. Like, is this all people have is fucking YouTube? Shit. And fans have also chimed in on this conversation with their thoughts on all of this. One person wrote, I honestly don't believe any of them. They all love drama, so I doubt any of them are innocent. Another person chimed in saying, quote, She's a grown woman. They didn't force her to do anything. She made the choices she made and she did the stuff she did. These people all need to grow up. And this fan wrote, The 2019 flashback, no one asked for. And many other fans continue to pick sides again, bringing us back to 2019. Jeffrey has still remained quiet about all of this on social media, but Tati said she thinks he is going to go off. So we'll keep you guys posted if he responds. As for James, well, yesterday he just tweeted saying, love you guys, to his fans amidst all this drama. And if you want more on all of this, click right over here for another clever video. Then be sure to let me know all your thoughts in the comments section below. I'm your host, Susan Morad. I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.